Hey there, class. Um, <clears throat> I thought maybe I'd give a quick um, uh, overview of the directions here for you for um, the minerals in your house worksheet. Um, I think it's going to be a, a worksheet that'll really kind of surprise you a little bit. At first, it might seem really straightforward, and you know, it's like kind of like a scavenger hunt, really. Um, but you might discover some cool things here as you do it. Um, first of all, you're going to need um, your worksheet, which presumably has been handed out to you. Um, and if not, then um, uh, the teacher can pause this and hand out the worksheet, and then we can continue. Um, but once you have this in your hands, you're going to notice that there's a QR code uh, on this worksheet that will take you directly to um, a website that has all the information you need. Um, if you want to or need to just type it in directly, you can type it in on this address right here. Just make sure that you type it in word for word, letter for letter. If it says that you can't find the page, it's probably just because you like put one letter out of place. So don't get frustrated too quickly. Um, just go through, double check, make sure that all the letters are typed in properly. Um, find the mistake and then fix it and hit enter and you should get there just fine. If you're using an iPad though, um, it'll be super easy. Just use a QR code and you can scan that thing lickety-split. So um, once you're there, you can see the directions right here. Um, it'll be a website that looks like this. This is the website right here, Minerals in Your House. Um, and there should be a whole list of minerals, that, or of, uh, excuse me, household items that you can choose from, click on. Uh, so for example, you could click on Trash Can and it lists a couple of the minerals that go into the trash can or are used in making it. If you click on hairspray, same thing. You can see chromite and cassarite here. Uh, dental care, you can see apatite and fluorite and gold and cinnabar uh, and so on. Uh, and even stove here you can see. So the way you do the worksheet is um, on the worksheet you um, see a mineral like muscovite or galena um, or gold. Uh, and on the back side you'll see quartz, hematite, copper, feldspar, graphite, and so on. Uh, so, you know, we were just looking at a stove and I saw the word hematite. So over on the worksheet where it says hematite, you could write down stove as one of the household items. Uh, if you're really clever about this, you can see some other minerals that are on that sheet, like chromite, galena, copper. So you could go back over here and put stove in for copper, uh, you could put it in for uh, chromite, and I think galena is, yep, over on the front side. So on some of these you can get like quite a few hits. The idea is you get half a point for each household item you find. You can get a total of 25 points, which, if each one is worth half a point, that means that you, if you find 50 of these, then you should have a total of 25 points. One thing that's kind of a nice opportunity here, um, this will be one of the first things that goes in on the new trimester. Um, but you could get some extra credit if you want because there are definitely more than 50 minerals on that web page. So if you wanted to go and do more than 50, then however many more above you go for 50, you'll get a half point and extra credit for each one above 50. Um, so it's a nice deal if you're interested, but if not, then just stick with 50 and you'll be fine. Um, 50 sounds like a lot, but it won't take you that long to, to find them all. Um, and once you have, if you want to do up the totals here so you can kind of keep track of your own points, you can do that. Um, we will be turning this in by the end of the class period. Uh, so this is something you do need to make sure you get done before the end of class. You'll also notice at the bottom of the back page there's this spot for the big aha. And there might just be an aha here for you. Um, and in particular with that first essential question, what makes us civilized? So if you think you have some thoughts on that, uh, I'd like you to try to throw down some sort of big aha, something you didn't know before that you know now as a result of doing this. And then um, we'll turn this in. Uh, later on, once I have a chance to count up the points, I'll give it back to you, and you can um, then put it into your ISN, uh, and, and we'll get a little BOGO for that. Um, but there you have it. Um, oh, and one thing I should point out on the website is there are some minerals on here um, that are not listed on the worksheet. I think gold, for example, could be in a mirror, but um, there isn't, oh, I guess there is gold here, but there may be some minerals um, here. Um, uh, Pentlinite, for example, um, I know is not on the worksheet, just because there are so many minerals uh, and only so much worksheet space. So there will be some minerals that are listed on the website that are not on here, um, but you can manage with that. 
So um, that's basically it. Um, you'll have um, a nice chunk of time today in class to finish this off. Um, just stay focused. You can use any of the technology in the room, iPads, Chromebooks, um, or your own device. Um, and we'll just kind of make it mellow like jello. It's kind of like a Friday today. So good luck, and I look forward to seeing all of the results here on Monday when we're back together. Bye.